Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sanele Mbogo. Uh, I'm sure you already know that I'm from uh, New York, South Africa. <laughs> so uh, today I'll be, uh, I'll be looking at uh, the impact of Mkala Society on voluntary medical circumcision. So in my introduction, the purpose of the study is to look at the quality and the quantity of medical circumcision done by Mkala Society compared to those done by medical doctors. This is in response to the need for more health workers in fighting against HIV and AIDS particularly in the case uh, to prevent, in, in this case to, to prevent the spread of HIV and AIDS. So now, the question that I've, I've asked myself is that, uh, do we have a problem in, in, in South Africa? And then answer to that is, uh, yes, we do have a problem. And we have a big problem. What is the problem? A problem is that uh, in 2012, it was reported by Human Science Research Council that uh, in, in one day, we're having about 1,100 people who are infected of HIV each and every day. That means that each and every hour, about uh, about 40 people would be infected with HIV and AIDS. That means that today, as I have 10 minutes to present, I think about 15 people would have been infected with HIV and AIDS. This is a very big problem. So now, we can have the best ARV problem in, in, in the world. We can have as many people on the air face, but then if we do not prevent, are we really solving the problem? So now we are, we are stressing more on preventing the infection of HIV rather than uh, cure, trying to cure it. In fact, in, in, we know, all know that we, we cannot cure it. And then now, coming back to South Africa, we are having a very big challenge of a shortage of, of, of doctors. And then, as you all know, that we are having uh, many other burden of diseases in, in, in our country. So now, if we are to take the, the, the number of doctors, the small number of doctors, uh, and then say that they must then go and, uh, and do medical circumcision, is it going to work for us? Because then we will be opening gaps on, 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 on other places. Another question is that, is that can you afford to pay all those doctors who, who must then do those med medical med circumcisions? Okay, so previous studies have shown that uh, voluntary medical circumcision reduces HIV uh, transmission in men which 60 percent so in fighting against hiv transmission the world health organization and the joint united nations program on hiv and aids now recommend that a voluntary medical circumcision be offered to men in, in combination with other effective hiv risk and reduction interventions in certain with a generalized hiv epidemics like in south africa so south africa was chosen among uh, 10 countries private countries in, 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 in the world where we sh must increase the number of medical med circumcision by 80% by 2025. And then recent studies have shown that one HIV infection can be evicted for every 5 to 15 uh, voluntary medical circumcision performed. And then in 2008, the National Department of Health launched a new category of mid-level health workers called Unicab Associate, and then I happened to be one of those. I qualified in 2011 at this same university. Particularly, uh, it was to assist in rural areas with the shortage of doctors. Currently, in the country, we're having about 516 graduates deployed in eight provinces. Unicab Associate play a, a pivotal role in, in, in medical based circumcision profession with uh, the NGOs and the MMC with the, the, the NGOs and the MMC clinics at district hospitals in rural areas and underserved parts of the country. Scaling up uh, the, the number of medical med circumcision, which the National Department of Health identified as a key prevention strategy, will require increased touch shifting to clinical associates. So now let us look how, how much does it cost for a clinical associate to, to, to do a medical circumcision. So in one hour, it costs 180 for a clinical associate to, to, to do a medical circumcision. And then for a doctor, it costs uh, are about 500 rand. These are the CHAPS uh, rates, which is an NGO that provides medical med circumcision. So in this research now, we, we want to see would, is, is there a, different, is, a significant difference in the voluntary medical circumcision done by doctors from the one done by the local associate. So the objective of this research will be to prove that there is no significant difference between the medical circumcision done by doctors from the one done by the local associate. And then the clinical associates are playing a pivotal role in the provision of voluntary medical circumcision. So, what research method are, are, are we using in this study? 
we are going to be using a quantitative uh, uh, retrospective cost study. This study will be done in three uh, 26 clinics that provide voluntary medical based circumcision supported by the NGO, which is CHAV's Center for HIV and AIDS Prevention Studies. The, clinic, the clinics were, would be selected based on their location. Patient files were planned, will be reviewed in 2004, patient files, and which will be randomly selected and entered into an access press sheet by three trained data capturers. And then we are going to then use data uh, to, to analyze our data. The data will reflect a period of 15 months, which will be from uh, January 2014 to April 2015. And then, when we are analyzing our data, this is the method that we are, we are, we are going to use. So we are going, as you know, that we are comparing clinical assessment and data. So we are going to look at things like the number of, of, of uh, MMCs done by clinical assessment compared to the one done by data. And then we look at the duration, how long does it cost for, for clinical assessment to do one medical uh, circumcision compared to the doctors. And then we are, we are going to, to look at uh, the clinics, different clinics that we are going to be visiting. We are going to look at the pre-operation evaluation check things like phimosis, paraphimosis, HIV status, and then we're also going to check the post-operation uh, complications such as swelling, pain, bleeding, infection, and wounds, and then we'll be comparing those. And then uh, it is we are going to, to, to get the permission. In fact, we're, we're already having a permission for, from the CEO of CHAPS to, 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 to do the final reviews, and then uh, our data capturers have already signed the confidentiality agreement forms uh, so that they don't uh, disclose the information that they will be getting from the files of our patients. And then these are my references, and I would like to thank you for this.